what was the inspiration behind Fresh Eyes? Uh, it's, it, the inspiration behind the song is when you rediscover love with someone that you've been with for a while. And, you know, relationships that go on for a while. Me and my wife have been together for over four years. Longer than that, but I've been married for four years. And the, the moments that you still get surprised by this person that you spend every day with, those become really special, you know. You strike me as a romantic guy. Um, February 14th, just around the corner. Do you have something like really, without blowing the, your cover or the surprise, do you have something really big planned? You know, I've, I've been on quite a few inter interviews today, and uh, I don't yet, but I now I will. You guys are scaring the crap out of me, and uh, I'm going to go home and figure this out. Yeah, like, I, I think really what my wife always just wants is time without my phone. So I plan on giving her some of that. So I'm like, we go, on, we go on phone vacations where we'll be like midday and uh, if I do have an hour or two, I'll be like, okay, I'm literally going to put my phone in my book bag for two hours. You do it as well. And uh, we go on like a zen phone uh, dinner date. Well, you can always make reservations somewhere or just order yeah. in. Yeah, exactly. Um, the video is a lot different from yeah. the meaning of the song because you take up the issue of homelessness. Why? There's so many issues out there, especially sure. these days. Sure, yeah. What's the connection between you and the homelessness issue? Yeah, you know, it's, it's interesting as you start to get a little bit of notoriety, you, um, there's a lot of different things you could put your energy towards. And, and for me, homelessness genuinely has been something that has, uh, I've been very passionate about from the very beginning uh, of my music career. I started as a street performer and spent a lot of time with homeless people out there. And um, yeah, it's just been something that it has been put in my face right, right in front of me uh, for a lot of my life. And what a sweet way that we thought to, you know, to bring some attention to a population that is often just overlooked. And it was a blast making this video to give makeovers to, to, these, to these homeless that, uh, these homeless people that had started their day on the street and then to like doll them up. Listen, I know that we're not going to cure homelessness, that, but we definitely made an impact on, on some people's lives. Uh, you know, when, you, when they turn their chair around and we have a kind of a double mirror and you can see through and you can see them see themselves and you can see some dignity come back into them. Some of them are crying because they might be remembering what they've looked like in the past. It was a really powerful experience. Some of them are crying because they have forgotten what it like looks like or what they look like yeah. in the past and they, they do regain their dignity. I was wondering what it did for you. Like, what, How were your emotions stirred by watching this and being involved in it? I mean, I was crying the whole day. I think all of us <laughs> that were working on the video, because the, the statements that were being said just offhand, you know, one of the guys that came out after he got dressed up were like, I'm like, how do you feel? He's like, I feel human. And you're like, mm. <laughs> oh, caught me off guard. I wasn't ready for that. Um, there were so many sweet interactions that, uh, you know, there was one time I was speaking with this gentleman. I'd went inside to see what they, where they were living and to talk to some people and I came back out and there was a guy who was clearly on the camera crew and I was just talking to him for, for a while, probably about 10 minutes. And then near the end, I'm like, so wait, what are you doing here? Are you with like catering? Are you working on, uh, are you like a DP? And he's like, no, I'm one of the guys who cleaned up. And I was like, oh, whoa, I've been speaking to you differently. Really? Like why, why have I been speaking to you differently for the last 10 minutes? And I really had to sit with that. And that has been with me since I made the video. Like, what is that divide? Why? why? Yeah. Have you seen or spoken to any of the people you... Yeah. Since? Oh, really? Since yeah. I, I just went down there. One of my good friends, who we both uh, care a lot about the homeless issue, his name's Justin Baldoni. He's Raphael from Jane the Virgin. And um, me and him, when we were both extremely poor, would still throw our birthday parties by getting all of our friends together and uh, donating clothes and as much food as we could scrap together, and then just going down to, to Skid Row and handing them out. And from that, uh, you know, this video came out of it. He does a, a homeless carnival in Los Angeles where he had 1,700 volunteers last Saturday. And I got to go down and I sang Keep Your Head Up with all of them. And uh, I saw a bunch of my stars of my video. And I was, uh, I was Instagramming it the whole time, each one that I ran into. And I was like, Beverly, have you seen the video? And she's like, I saw it, I saw it, two million, like however many million views are on it. And, uh, and I ran into like two or three of them and I gave them big hugs and it was, it was a blast.